I do a video a while back about the man who them sell us to be our national hero. Thomas Jennings, the American inventor for Paul Bogle, and the video went crazy. Now, the video had generated almost 4,000 comments. 7,000 people added it as their favorite, shared over 12,000 times, and had gotten over 600,000 views and still counting. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, you're seeing this on YouTube, go over TikTok and follow me. Anyway, this video is part two, and the whole purpose of it is to open up some more blind eyes. Worse, this brother is now more prominent than our new $50 bill in Jamaica. We now waste no more time, make we jump right tonight, because we have some things to dig down and dig up. Four things we specifically want to talk about. I'm a guarantee it's going to blow some out of mind. Number one, photography wasn't invented during Mr. Jennings' time or was around, so the photograph couldn't be him but that of Mr. Paul Bogle. And them not talk about any kind of photography. They might talk about a tin type photograph. But me call bullshit on that. Number two, I have more evidence that this man, which is now so prominent, big and bold on the money, is not the true likeness of who them same is. Number three, we're going to unearth some spooky coincidence around these two individuals that me sure going to fry on the brain. Last but not least, people have said this brother is a twin. So, those are the four things we make a look on. Specifically, I'm going to stick with me throughout this video because I know somehow no mind I got to turn upside down. Zane, all right, we could jump right in. They're saying that this photo couldn't be that of Mr. Jennings, but that of Paul Bogle, because tin type photography wasn't around during Mr. Jennings' time. I think that's their biggest excuse to be still using this photograph, even though it was not truly authenticated to be that of Mr. Bogle. Them just still say, you know what, we're going to use it, because we can't do anything basically. Nobody now going to find out. Now, we're going to go back in our history. And we are going to break this thing down to the nitty gritty. Photography was invented in 1822 by a Frenchman called Joseph Nisafort. He never took the first surviving permanent photo until 1826. Now Jennings was born on January the 1st, 1791 and he died in 1856. Paul Bogle, on the other hand, was born in 1822, and he died in 1865. If photography was invented in 1822, then Thomas Jennings would have been about 31 at the time of invention, 1791 to 1822. Now, at the time when photography was invented, Paul Bogle was a baby in a 1822. Watch this now. Photography never reached Jamaica until somewhere in the 1840s. That is like 18 years after its invention, which mean Bogle was about 18 year old, or better yet, a young adult, a plant yam in a St. Thomas, because we don't know really when in the 1840s photography reached Jamaica. Before we go any further, we're going to pull up a timeline chart of photography and its many developments, process and improvements over the years. And this reference is from the Harvard University, not Wikipedia for the one them who will have chat off them more. But anyway, in 1826, Nisafor took the first surviving photo. 1839, invention of the daguerreotype or something like that by Louis Jacques announced in Paris. Again in 1839, William Henry Fox Talbot published his photographic process. 1841, William Henry Fox introduces the color type, a further refinement of his negative to positive process. Now make we stop here for a second and we're going to pull up an article that was published by Loop Jamaica News. 
It says, whose photograph is it? Paul Boga or Thomas? And we're going to use this article for a look at reference chart. Let us scroll down to this part here. It says, the story in 1959 said that W.G. Ogilvy, a member of the Jamaica Historical Society at the time, had discovered the tintype photograph. And if you read the entire article, you will see that this tintype photograph that they are talking about is Paul Boga. So remember the word, the, the, the type of photograph for them selling fine. Tin type photograph. Mr. Ogilvy saying fine. Now make we go back to the Harvard University photography chart to see where tin type photography fall. Now it fall all the way down yes, to 1856. My question is, why pass all these process and improvements over the years? and got to the tin type photography in 1856, even though photography reached Jamaica from the 1840s. But then again, people to answer that, the man couldn't find no other type of photograph. He must find the tin type photograph because the tin type photograph was the same year when Mr. Thomas Jennings died. Now out of everybody else on the globe, the man was the man in contradiction with the type of photograph where a man claimed to say him fine was upon the same death year where the man dead. Something no right. I don't can't tell me nothing. Something no right. People, if you not see this, boy, I don't know where else you're going to see. Because this is one of the spooky, very spooky coincidences. But I don't even go into that as yet. Make we move on. Now we are going to pull up back the article from Loop Jamaica News and we are going to scroll down to this section where it described the wanted Paul Bogle in 1865. People may want to remember this number. Specifically remember 65. The number 6 and 5. When Bogle was on the run after the Morant Bay Rebellion, a reward of £2,000 was offered for his capture. He was described in the Colonial Standard newspaper of October the 18, 1865 as a very black man with shiny skin bearing heavy marks of smallpox on his face and more especially on his nose. Now where in a God's world do you see this description on this man's face? Yes, we can't say him did in black because we don't know, because we don't have a, a real colored photograph. So we are going to say yes, the man black. But bearing heavy marks of smallpox on his face, where in the world you see smallpox on this man's face, especially upon his nose. All the blind man can say, say, yo, this description do not match the man what they're saying in the newspaper. Where? The description where them posting at the, the newspaper match this over there. Where is it? Because we not seen a small, this man a face smooth. Look how this man face smooth. Where is the small pox where they pan the man face? I mentioned Edna Manley in my previous video about she being confused with the true likeness of who this man is. The artist then before her was also confused. But you have more people to support them. When Edna Manley finally do a sculpture in 1965 and the monument was placed in front of the Morant Bay Courthouse. It came under every question from left, right and center. So who the brother yeah? Over the period of time, the sculpture was damaged by vandals and was beaten by the 2007 Morant Bay Courthouse fire. So they took it down and take it to Kingston for restoration. But the stakeholders in the Morant Bay community have however opposed its return and demand its replacement with another monument that would be the true likeness of Paul Bogle. The request has subsequently received the support of the St. Thomas Parish Council and the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, KSAC. Them supported said this man is not who them same is. Edna Manley was confused. The artist them before her was confused because they don't know who the true likeness of this brother. The parish council support the people. Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal, KSAC, support the people them in it. Why 
we continue to uh, teach this thing to a generation, we younger generation them. And I say, this man a hero. And we don't know where the man look like. How much more proof we would want if he said this man and who them same is. The next thing we want to address, people are saying that this man is a twin. People, this brother is not a twin. He's not. Look upon the date them, the birth date them, the, the two different dates. So this man cannot be a twin. All right. Me know me saying in my previous video that this man was in two places at one time. But what me mean is that this man photo was at two places. One man, the same man, in two different places, using two different biographies. But he's the same person. That's what I mean. Alright, so this man could never be twin. Last but not least, the spooky coincidence around these two individuals that are in question. Now, apart from the one where we just find out where Mr. Ogilvy said find a tin type photograph on Mr. Jennings' death date. Because that me never know about. That very spooky. But apart from that one, listen this. Paul Bogle was born in the parish of St. Thomas. Now the man where this man in contradiction with, named Thomas, him couldn't in contradiction with nobody else. He must be in contradiction with a man with named Thomas and him come from St. Thomas. But hold on, we'll go further. Paul Bogle born in 1822, the same time photography was invented. We are arguing about photography. And we are arguing so whose photo it is. And then say, man, born on the same day where photography was invented. Thomas Jennings died in 1856. And Paul Bogle died in 1865. People, is the same number, 65 and 56. The same number them turn around. That no spooky? Look on this again. Edna Manley finally did a sculpture of this man in 1965. The same six and five. She couldn't do sculpture in 1963, 1964, 1952. Anyway, why have it be 65? Paul Borg was describing the Colonial Standard newspaper, um, newspaper of October the 18th, 1865. Jennings was 65 when he died. You know what? Believe in it on your own conclusion. I one more thing I have to say. And I, if you never know, now you know.